Hi, I'm Victoria Ludeman and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Awesome DIY Websites. And today you want to find out what DPI means. DPI is an extension that we use for images and it is typically uh, known to stand for dots per inch. Um, and we use this in the web arena um, and we will always ask clients to upload their images at 72 dots per inch. Now let me just explain what dots per inch mean. You actually have an image and your picture, whenever you take a photo, if you actually zoomed right into that picture and you kept zooming in until you could um, see little tiny squares and they are literally little tiny colored squares that sit in a row and um, those are the dots and it is dots per inch. It's very straightforward when you know. Um, and the idea behind that obviously is that uh, it makes it easy for JPEGs um, and whatnot to actually be uploaded to the net. The reason that we ask for 72 dots per inch is that everything that you get to see on the internet, um, picture wise, is 72 dots per inch. It's just your screen resolution is set at that. That explains that sometimes when you print something off a website, um, it looks a bit hazy, it looks very clear on your screen, but when you actually print it out, it looks a bit broken up. And that is why, because everything you see on your screen is 72 dots per inch. Now, yes, you can make your images larger. We don't typically promote that. When you're uploading something to, to the internet, we are wanting to have um, where your, vi your visitors, your clients, when they get to your site, get the information and, and the pictures as quick as possible. So if you have something that's a higher resolution, you know, say something that you would normally use for print, which is 250 uh, DPI or even higher, 300 sometimes printers will actually ask for, uh, do bear in mind that it's going to affect your download time. You'll notice that sometimes when somebody is looking, when you're looking at a website, uh, it, it chugs along. It, it, it seems to load a line and of, of the photograph at a time. And that is typically uh, because a person has loaded an image that is much larger. It's, it's larger than 72 dots per inch. Um, it irritates the client uh, because they can't uh, get to the information quickly. You typically will lose them very fast. Um, so your lovely graphic will have irritated them beyond comprehension. So we don't promote that you have anything that's higher than 72 dots per inch. Do bear in mind that if you're going to buy images that you also want to use offline, it is in your best interest to purchase something that is um, a level of, of print quality. Um, like you have 250 dots per inch for print or 300 dots per inch um, typically as a minimum. Um, try and buy that and then you can downsize it in something like Photoshop or Paint.net which is a free photo editing software um, and then you can upload it to the website and you can also use it for your print uh, paraphernalia that you've got offline. Um, so one last thing that you might find useful as well is that we call it lossy. Um, if something is bought and it's 72 dots per inch, you can't put those little dots back in again. So once you've actually pulled those dots out, they're gone, uh, which is why you want to be buying the larger image. Um, there are free images that you can get out there, but also when you're taking pictures with your cameras, make sure that it's a higher resolution that you can then downsize. We hope you found that information useful. Please join us for more info at www.awesomediwiwebsites.com. It's free. Um, it's going to upskill you, make you look professional, and it's also going to help you with your business and what you've got online. Thank you for joining us today.